James Harden, Andre Drummond, LeBron James, Hassan Whiteside, Ben Simmons. What do these players have in common? All of them lead the league in a specific category. James Harden averages 34.4 points a game, and he leads the entire league. Drummond, 15.2 rebounds, leading the league. LeBron, 10.6 assists, and he leads the league. Hassan Whiteside blocks over three shots a game, and Ben Simmons, ben Simmons leads the league in steals. So what are we going to try and do today? We're going to try and win all of those, or we're going to try and lead the league in all of those categories with one of the players on our team. So that's going to be the main objective of today's video. We got three years to do it. Shout out to Simply on Co for the idea. If you guys have not already, just look for his channel. Drop a subscribe. Does WWE content. I did a rebuild battle against him. Great dude. Used to make my thumbnails. But yeah. Um, and again, as always, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Uh, go back, watch any other videos. But let's get into it. So to do this, we are going to be fantasy drafting a team, and that means we have to randomly select a team. I haven't done a fantasy draft in a long time, so let's see who we can get here. We're going to stop in 3, 2, 1. The Houston Rockets. Let's do it. Um, and then, let's see what pick the Rockets have. Do we have a good pick? Do we have a bad pick? We're going to have a pretty bad pick. Um, you know, 24. We're going to simulate the rest of the draft. We're going to see what this team ends up looking like. And then uh, we're going to have to try and get some players that are going to lead the league. All right, so this is what the roster looks like. We have Ja Morant, which is absolutely clutch. We got him probably with our second round pick, maybe our first. We got Clint Capella, Dante DiVincenzo, uh, Seth Curry, Troy Brown Jr., Nerlens Noel, Mike Conley. All right, so this team is pretty bad, but we might have a few people that we can trade and get something. But the big thing is... Um, we have to find a star that's going to lead the league in scoring. Um, and some of this stuff, you know, there's going to be, what is there? There's points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. We have five categories. We try and get, try, got to try and get them done in three seasons. Um, Clint Capella could maybe handle the rebounds for us. So we'll see. But um, there's definitely some things that have to be done. And we're going to have to go try and, you know, make a trade. What if I trade away John Moran and I don't, if we throw him with Mike Conley and a first round pick, can we get somebody that's going to finish one of these for us? It doesn't really look like it. What if we throw him with Clint Capella instead of Mike Conley? Maybe we can, I need to get somebody, Rudy Gobert, could he possibly lead the league in rebounds? Oh, this might be nice. Rudy could possibly lead it in rebounds or blocks, possibly. De'Aaron Fox could maybe lead it in steals. I wonder how good De'Aaron Fox is um, steals-wise. Let me check that out quick. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, um, let's go back. Okay, let's look at this again. So, De'Aaron Fox, he averaged 1.9 steals a game last season. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, and then Rudy Gobert, obviously such a good defender. He averaged 2.6 blocks. Um, how many, you know, 14 rebounds. So he could possibly get both of those for us. Lonzo and John Collins aren't going to get it done. Bam and DeMar, probably not. We're going to go with De'Aaron Fox and, uh, Rudy Gobert. All right. So it'll be interesting to see what they bring for the season. And we're going to try and sign a big name free agent after this year. This isn't really a rebuild. This is more so just trying to complete this challenge. But if we win a championship while we're at it, that'd be awesome. Uh, Mike Conley has to go out the door. A couple first from the Spurs would actually be pretty nice. So we're going to do that. And anybody else make too much money that I want off this team? Um, Ivan Rab. You know, he's on a one-year contract. We can keep him. Isaiah Hartenstein, one-year deal. And Seth Curry. We might trade Seth just because he makes $7 million. Uh, 20, 20 first-round pick and Daniel Gafford would be pretty nice. So maybe that's what we do. Kendrick Nunn. All right. That's the trade we're doing. Let's go set this rotation. Um... 
You know what? Let me go. Let me go do this quick. Um. Let me go find a system that gets the most rebounds. Um, assignment consistency helps on the defensive glass. That would be awesome. It helps Rudy Gobert a ton. So defense would be cool. Um, balance not cool enough. No. Increased three-point opportunity. No. I want it to be good for Rudy and De'Aaron Fox. Offensive rebounding, spacing. We're going to go with defense. This team's going to be really bad too, but we're going to run with the defensive system. Um, and then our first scoring option is going to be De'Aaron Fox because if he can somehow lead the league in scoring, very highly doubt that. But if he could, we play through the star. Um, defensive rebounding, crash defensive glass. Some crash, others run, because that will get Rudy down there crashing, because Rudy's not going to be running. Defensive, okay. Alright, so, we are going to run this season. We're going to be a bad team, but if we can somehow get, hopefully, one or two of our things done this year, that'd be great. So, I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. I thought of another thing. We're going to crank out a bunch of minutes to um, Rudy Gobert. And we're just going to have him play the entire game because then he should be able to lead the league in rebounds. We're also going to give a bunch of minutes to Aaron Fox. Hopefully he can lead in steals. Um, it's kind of cheesy, I know, but I had to do something. So that's what we're going to do. I have a lot of centers in this rotation, but I will catch you guys at the end of the season now. So season number one ended up with Luka winning MVP. John Morant does win Rookie of the Year. Doesn't look like he's going to get steals or anything so that's good because we had him we traded him away obviously demarcus cousins wins six man Giannis wins defensive player luca won most improved and then greg popovich wins coach of the year we actually end up with 45 wins and this team was not very great so that is actually really interesting but here are the all nba teams darren fox makes all nba second team i wonder what his stats look like um click capella makes all nba third team dang only 12.4 rebounds, though I, I think Rudy should have done better. Rudy Gobert, all defensive first team. All right, cool. And all right. So we actually don't make the play. Oh, we do make the playoffs as the sixth seed. Okay, so that's interesting. But let's go check out some stats quick. I'm going to check out the player stats before I look at league leaders. Uh, De'Aaron only 1.4 steals. That's kind of tough. That is kind of tough. Interesting. Rudy Gobert, though, only 10 rebounds. Did I just go one season without getting any of this? Dude. What about blocks? 2.6. That might be good enough. Let's see here. So. No way. Dude, De'Aaron Fox led the league in scoring. Let's go. All right, so we got scoring. Let me check that off over on my list. Wow, I did not think that was going to happen. Wow, okay, so that's cool. We at least got that. Um, okay, so points. Let's go to rebounds. It was Andre Drummond, so we might have to go out and get Andre Drummond or Cat. Um, assists, Chris Paul. Steals, Dante Devin. I didn't even think Dante was going to get this for... Okay, that is the clutchest thing I've ever seen because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get steals and we got it right away. Blocks. And Rudy got... I already got three of them. Yo. Yo, all we got to get is rebounds and assists. That's crazy. So, basically what I'm thinking when we're talking about rebounds for next season is I have to get one good rebounder and have everybody else on my team be absolutely terrible at rebounding. So that's that's the move. But um, let's simulate these playoffs quick and let's just see how this team does. It'll be interesting to see if we can win a championship or something. Uh, okay, we can't even get out of the first round. We're a six seed, makes sense. Looks like the Lakers win the finals and Steph Curry is the finals MVP. So Steph's in LA, interesting. Let's go to the draft lottery. I know we traded for one pick. We'll see what that pick ends up being. 
and it looks like our Rockets have picked 14 from Charlotte, and I think that's it. So, staff signing. Um, I would like to bring in a better trainer, you know, Randy Martin, and you know we could get a better assistant GM. So we're gonna do that, and we should be good then. So, let's get to the draft. So we're here at pick 14, and we have a decision to make. Devin Vassell looks like the right choice, so we're going to go with him. We'll get out of the draft. We'll see uh, what Vassell can do for us. Uh, rookie signings, he's a 76 overall. That's cool. So we'll pay him his contract. We're going to accept De'Aaron Fox's option. And then we're going to go into um, free agency, and we're going to have to find somebody to do our rebounding. And what else? Our passing, our assisting. So we might have to make a trade for that. But rebounding? What is Hassan Whiteside's rebounding? A plus rebounding. Okay, what's Anthony Davis's rebounding? A B plus. So we're going to try and get Hassan Whiteside. And we'll throw him the player option. Hopefully he accepts that. Otherwise we're going to throw an op for at Drummond as well. I got to make sure I give him the player option as well because they, they seem to like having the player option. So we can get Whiteside or Drummond. Let's see. Drummond did better last year. He did do better last year. So maybe we bring in Drummond instead of Whiteside. All right. So we got Drummond. How much money do we even have? Like what's our salary cap situation? Rudy Gobert makes a lot of money. I'm going to trade Rudy Gobert right now because he's not the rebounding person that I thought he was. What is his rebounding anyways? An A+. Plus. Okay, so I got to find a better system or something, but we're going to trade Rudy Gobert. And a couple first. Maybe we can get oh, we can get Hassan. I don't need that. I need somebody that's going to pass the ball really well. Um, Eric Bledsoe is not going to do that. Who would do that? So I think Kemba Walker is going to be the person we trade for. He can be, he has an A-plus playmaking, so he can be someone that's going to lead the, lead the league in assists. And then, what other move do I need to make? Um, Do we have, I want to get somebody that can score the ball, because that will definitely help out a little bit. So, if we can just go ahead and sign, like, Malik Beasley... Okay, Malik signed. There we go. And maybe like Justin Holiday and I don't know. We're going to have to make trades at the trade deadline. Or not the trade deadline, but when we get into the season. So we'll look at player progression first off. Oh, we still have De'Aaron Fox. So we're going to probably trade De'Aaron Fox if his playmaking is not an A. Oh, it's a, it is an A+. Plus. Maybe we can trade Kemba Walker then. I didn't. I forgot we had De'Aaron Fox, which is a bad move on my part. But we'll go to training camps. I'll send a couple people, and then we will get into the season. All right. So this is the team. Uh, Kemba Walker is gonna get traded away, unfortunately, and then we're gonna trade any big men that we have on our bench. So we'd also need to trade away like Gafford. So we'll trade away Kemba and Daniel Gafford together, and hopefully we can bring in. Um, somebody that's going to be able to score the ball but doesn't really take away from uh, De'Aaron Fox's passing. You know, like Clay Thompson, he spots up. That would be great. Um, Pascal Siakam, his playmaking's a D, so he's not really going to be taking anything away. So Pascal would be interesting. Or we could just trade for Chris Paul, who led the league in assists last season, right? He had... Um, I doubt, I don't think he led it last season, so we will probably stick, you know what, we're probably going to trade for Pascal Siakam here, and then we're going to have to trade away, um, well, first off, we're going to put Siakam as the small forward, so he doesn't rebound quite as much, and then we're going to have to trade away, um, I know we just brought in a big man, Mike Muscala, because I don't want a center coming off the bench at all. I want it to solely be um, Andre Drummond getting all of our rebounds. And Drummond's actually going to get more minutes. So Holiday's not even going to be in the rotation. Drummond is going to get all of those minutes. And also, we got to get more minutes to Drummond. 
and De'Aaron Fox. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. Like, I literally have no clue. Um, but we're going to throw Devin Vassell in there at a... Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want them to rebound the ball. So we are going to... First scoring option is going to be Siakam. Offensive tempo. Play through star. Yeah. Offensive tempo. Um, shoot at will. Okay. We're going to crash the defensive glass this year with Andre Drummond. We're going to simulate this season. Everything's out of whack. I don't care. We're trying to win. Or we're trying to lead the league in these categories. So I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. So I am stopping here partway through the season because I want to go see how the stats are looking. If I have to make some adjustments to the rotation, I will do that. Uh, we don't care about points, but we do care about assists. De'Aaron Fox is leading in assists, but barely over Lonzo Ball. And what else are we looking for? Assists and rebounds, correct? Rebounds, yes. Oh, Drummond is 18 rebounds a game. That's crazy. Okay, so we're looking good for now. I'm going to simulate um, till March something. We're going to check again, make sure they are still leading the league. Because De'Aaron Fox is only .1 assists ahead of Lonzo Ball. I still have another season after this one if we don't get it. I'm confident in Drummond with his rebounding, but I hope that De'Aaron Fox keeps it, um, keeps the lead in those assists. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, so we're going to check again. And... I'm hoping we are good. You know, I could be really cheesy and just like go trade for Lonzo Ball and put him on my bench so he doesn't get any. But that's just like, eh. That seems a little cheesy to me. So rebounds, are we still good? We're still good on rebounds. And now we're now he's point two up. There's only a month left of the season. I'm confident in that. Hopefully he keeps it. We will. We'll see. We will see. But if we do finish this challenge off in just this, uh, these two years, the third season, I will go in. I will try and get this team to be good enough to actually win a championship and not just be like, you know, focusing on leading the league. I will see if they will, you know, actually try to win a championship. But here are the awards. If you guys do care about these, um, they don't really matter to me right now. We got 50 wins, so we're definitely going to be a playoff team again. Drummond is all NBA first team. And he's also defensive first team. And then Devin Vassell makes rookie first team. Okay, cool. So we are actually the three seed, but we need to go check out the season stats. So Darren Fox ended up with 10.2 assists. Hopefully that's enough. It was good we had, you know, Siakam and Drummond being our other good players because they don't pass the ball. Um. And Drummond got 19 rebounds a game, which is absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. But here's the moment of truth. Rebounds, Drummond blew it out of the water. Let's put a big old check mark right on the whiteboard. Whew. Let's go. 0.1 away. Lonzo Ball had 10.1. De'Aaron Fox with 10.2. That's the, so close. Like, it doesn't get any closer than that check all right simply man your challenge it was fun but it was kind of easy man i got it done in two years so we're going to rebuild this team we're going to try and win a championship even if we win the championship this year so we're going up against the clippers looks like we swept them time to go up against sacramento and we beat them in six okay and we lose in six to kyrie irving and the milwaukee bucks all right Draft lottery. Let's see what we got going on. I don't know if we got any picks. I don't know what's happening. I haven't really been paying attention. But it looks like we have the 23rd pick. That's, I think that's it. So, um, staff, new head coach. You know, Mike D'Antoni, you, you almost won a championship. We got to bring you back in. So, I will go to the draft now. We'll see who we can get at 23rd. Probably nobody uh, too big of a deal. But there might be somebody there. So, let's go check it out. We have Isaiah Jackson. Um, I'm going to go with Jalen Suggs. He's from Minnesota. 
Uh, we also have a second round pick, so we're going to take um, Walker Kessler, I guess. All right, and let's get out of the draft. Let's see how our rookies look. Um, Jalen Suggs is 74. Kessler is a 73. So we're going to take both of them. We're going to go to team player options. We're going to accept team options on all of these players. And let's go see what our salary cap looks like. Um, we're probably going to end up trading Drummond because I know I can get a center that's going to do just as well. Um, and not have to spend $35 million on him. So that is going to be the move. We are going to trade him for, you know, Miles Turner would save us, you know, about $17 million. That'd be pretty clutch. Uh, Tobias Harris wouldn't save us anything. Sergi Baca, not good enough for my liking. We're going to go with Miles Turner here, which is cool because I never really have Miles Turner. And who else could we trade away? We could trade away Pascal. We're going to trade away Malik Beasley, though, because, you know, $13 million. A little bit too much for the young guy. I know we need big men because I had, like, none on my bench. So Daniel Gafford would actually be pretty nice. But I bring him in a lot. So Nicholas Claxton and Omari Spellman would be pretty cool, actually. Is there any other big men that I could bring in, though? I think I might go with those two just because I bring in Daniel Gafford and also Bruno Fernando, like, all the time. So if we bring in those two, what does our salary cap look like now? We got $8 million in salary cap room. Do we have the rights to somebody? Uh, De'Aaron Fox, we do have his rights. But let's look into trading Pascal Siakam and see what we can get for him. If we can get, you know, a good younger player that would save us some dough... Definitely would be interested in doing that. But doesn't really look like anybody out here would, uh... Well, Sabonis would save us some money. Yeah, Sabonis would be pretty nice. Also, Marvin Bagley would be pretty nice if we ran him at the power forward. So I think I'm going to go with Bagley as long as nobody else out here. Yeah, I think Bagley's the move. I don't get Bagley very often. I do every now and then. But um, he definitely would be interesting to have at that power forward. So now our salary cap, we got $14 million. Um, and you know, I could trade some of these guys that make like four or five million and just save a little bit more money. So if we trade like Brown and Harris, and just get picks or something for them. Or people on smaller contracts, Matisse and Pat Connaughton would be cool. Uh, Denny and Zaire Smith, we could trade away Di Zaire Smith. Surge makes too much. Um... Sure, we'll do this, then we'll trade away Pat Connaughton. So we'll trade Pat with Joe Ingles. I didn't realize we had Joe Ingles, who makes $14 million. So we're definitely going to get him out the door. We can bring Joe Harris back, Kyle Anderson, some first from the Wizards. Okay, that's cool. Um, we'll send qualifying offers to De'Aaron and also, excuse me, Josh Hart. And we got enough money for Kawhi Leonard, so I'll throw him the player option, no trade clause. Otherwise, we'll throw one... At Paul George, we'll just give him like 163. And then Jason Tatum on that restricted contract, we'll throw him as big as we can, but we won't get him because we are bringing in Kawhi Leonard. Okay, we can't bring De'Aaron Fox back. I'm fine with that. So, Kawhi, if I match De'Aaron Fox, I don't think we can get Kawhi Leonard. Like, right? Like, Yeah, why can't... I don't want to match De'Aaron... F oh, my God. I did not want to match De'Aaron Fox. We're going to trade away De'Aaron Fox right now. Well, let me go look at our cap space. What's that look like? $21 million? So, if we wanted to try and sign Kawhi... Okay, we could free up enough money to do it. So, let's trade away Cam Johnson, Darius Basley... I need to free up money. I don't want to take on contracts. Give me where are the picks at, man. Okay, Bruno and Simons. We're going to trade away Dante and Omari Spellman. Dude, let me free up cap space, man. Okay, Isaac Okoro and Shake Milton. Probably going to be the move there um, just to free up that money. So we're going to do that. And who, what else do we have to, how much more money do we have to free up if we want to bring in Kawhi? Um, $3 million. Okay, we can probably do that. So, 
Let's trade away Anthony Simons. Give me just a pick. Just give me a pick. Somebody. Okay, Lakers picks. Okay. All right, so we got enough for Kawhi. So we'll give player option, no trade clause. Hopefully he takes that. He's going to the Bulls. Okay, so he doesn't want to be here. That's fine. We are going to try and get Paul George then. All right, we got Paul George. That's cool. Who else could we afford? Bryn Forbes. Okay. And Ersan Ilyasova on that minimum contract. I'm cool with that one. And then I just want a backup center. Bobby. We're going to bring in Bobby. All right. Let's get out of free agency. Let's go to player progression. And let's just, I mean, I wonder how good Devin Vassell is too. He's a 79. That's cool. Um, I don't know what the rotation's really going to look like, but I'll send three people to camps because we do have a good trainer. Then I'll get into the final season and try and make a run at a championship. So I didn't even realize it when I started, but I forgot that De'Aaron Fox and Marvin Bagley are actually teammates in real life, but we got them back together now. And I actually like our starting lineup, except for I don't know why they don't want Miles Turner in the starting lineup. Like, Miles Turner should be getting 34 minutes a game starting for us. And then we're going to go to Devin Vassell or Matisse Thibel and see which one we want to be a small forward. Matisse goes up to a, what was it, an 84. Vassell goes up to an 80. So we'll go Matisse as a small forward. So we got our starting lineup is set. Um, Dude, I have no idea why this they keep doing this. Devin Vassell and Shake Milton. Um, So we should trade Shake Milton away probably. Try and bring in a backup point guard. And then we could also use a backup power forward. So we can, or we can just run Nicholas Claxton at, or um, Bruno Fernando at the power forward. So Fernando 6'9, Claxton is 6'11. So Bruno is going to go down. Bruno always manages to get on my team, man. Um, but let's go trade Shake Milton for a power forward. And we should be good. But I have some picks. I might screw around and try and bring in some better players so eric pascal would be nice i don't bring him in very often so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna bring in pascal or pascal or however you say his name and then i wouldn't mind trading paul george actually with a couple picks and see if we could just bring in somebody better if i could get a shooting guard or a small forward that would be preferred you know this would actually be pretty nice um, Shea and Kemba would be nice. Jalen Brown and Steven Adams. Could I bring in somebody I haven't really brought in before? Tobias, I never really bring in Tobias Harris, but he just doesn't perform that well. I could bring Pascal back. Um. I bring in Colin Sexton quite a bit, but I guess I haven't done it in a while. I'm going to bring in Jalen Brown and Steven Adams. I don't have Steven Adams very often. Brown's going to go to... He can stay at shooting guard, I think. And then Steven Adams can come off the bench for me. So let's go look at the rotation now. Or Steven Adams can start if they want to do that. And then the bench rotation, we basically just need a point guard. So we're going to trade Bruno because Bruno's always on my team. And I don't really want to have Bruno if I don't need to. So let's go trade Bruno Fernando and a couple first round picks and just try and bring in a bench point guard. Jalen Brunson, I don't think I ever trade for Jalen Brunson. Oh my, what is happening? Well, let me go look at the other offers first. Maybe that was a sign. Nope, not a sign. We're gonna bring in Jalen Brunson. He's gonna be our backup point guard. And we're gonna run the 10 man rotation, turn bench utilization down to about 25. And our first scoring option is going to be, I'm going to go Jalen Brown and then De'Aaron and then Marvin Bagley. All right. I think this is going to be it. I think I like this team. I think we can win a championship. So make sure the system's good. I'm not going to run defense. I did that earlier just for other things, but seven seconds, four stars. So we actually built a really solid team for that. I will simulate this third and final year. Hopefully we are good enough to win the championship. I will catch you guys at the end of it. All right, so we got season number three, the final season wrapping up. We're just gonna try and win a championship. We end up with 55 wins. Here are the 
awards for this year. Um, I do not see... Nope, no Rockets except for Mike D'Antoni, so that's cool. Any All-NBA players? Uh, doesn't look like it either. Defensively? No. All right, rookies? No. Okay, so we are the one seed in the Western Conference. Let's go check out our stats for this year. Jalen Brown led us in scoring 26 points. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. This team was actually like built really well. Usually my teams <laughs> don't really make sense, but this one actually does. We got a lot of defense with Turner, uh, Fox, Brown, a little bit more with Bagley as well, and even Steven Adams. Plus, we have some scoring here. Um, you know, we have distributing from De'Aaron Fox. Do we have any lead leaguers that league leaders? That's kind of a tongue twister. Uh, not points. Uh, not rebounds. Not assists. We had third. Steals. No. And blocks no we had nobody this year but that's fine because we're trying to win a championship so phoenix Giannis. all right let's see if Giannis can beat us only gives us five games i'm cool with that russ d'anthony melton denny zion nasri so we got to go against Giannis and then zion are you kidding me Beat them in six. All right, now we got to go against Aaron Holiday, Buddy Hill, LeBron. I got to go against Giannis, Zion, and LeBron in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back rounds. And we lose in seven. All right. The Knicks win the finals. Bradley Beal, finals MVP. That one was a ton of fun. Shout out to Simply Unco for the video idea. His link will be in the description. Make sure you check out his channel. If you like WWE content, he posts some cool videos. Um, so make sure you subscribe to him. Also, if you haven't watched already, him and I, as I mentioned before, had a rebuild battle. Check that one out. It was a ton of fun. Um, but yeah, so make sure you check out him. Uh, shout out for the video idea, man. I appreciate you a lot. Um, but yeah, I had a ton of fun with this one. We got it done in just two seasons. Unfortunately, I couldn't take that team and win a championship after that. But it is what it is. That was not the goal. We got our goal. We killed it. You guys are killing it with the likes, the subscribes, everything. You guys are the absolute best fans in all of YouTube. Appreciate y'all so much. Make sure to drop any other ideas you want in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button. Like this video. And as always, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.